Hi. Um, hello. Good afternoon. Good morning. Uh, it's November 22nd, 2022. I guess the significance of the numbers, if you think that. But I, I'm uh, Jerry. I hear um, I live by myself. But I, I try to be vegan um, mostly because animals, right? I don't like the idea of there being someone else involved with how I want to enjoy my life, right? Personally, I want to be not have anything on my own conscience that might help me or prevent me from being more of a fulfilled spiritual kind of a person. So um, I, I believe animals have consciousness, right? I believe that there's a soul, not like a, but not a discarnate, um, you know, spirit, like ectoplasmic spirit being. I, the soul, I'm referring to soul, defining soul as the activity of a, of a nervous system. So if a mammal that's, has a large nervous system, right, it's a complex network of nerves, neurological signals to a brain, to a central nervous system, I'm suspicious, I'm sus I suspect that most most animals have a consciousness there right that's that it's similar to me that's like kind of like me but it's not it's not a mathematician it's not a gymnast it's not a an architect or it's not some brilliant being uh, something that can um communicate with um a high level of advanced uh, language such as the humans but i don't i don't I, I, can, I honestly say I was raised in a meat-eating household. I was born in, you know, sick in the 60s. And when I was growing up, most of our meals had milk, cheese, eggs, bacon, ham, turkey, steak, uh, fish, salmon, trout, uh, and, you know, oysters and clams. And so I, I, I ate meat between when I was young to when I was 18, pretty much most meals, I ate meat or dairy with it or uh, dairy products. So I, I, but as I grew older, you know, I remember reading Upton Sinclair, The Jungle. So I had, a, I had somewhat of an understanding of the environmental impact of, of the feedlots. You know, I used to go through, go up Highway 5 in California and drive through all these feedlots. So it was kind of like, that was an eye opener for me seeing all these cows out standing around in these pens and it was really it smelled really really bad so i'm driving on highway five north you know and, um in my 20s and i started i started meeting up with other people that were vegetarians they were health conscious vegetarians so they'd like make you know like wheat bread sandwiches with sprouts and avocado and tomato and and um cucumber slices and they were eating a lot of salads they were they were making beans right so if they had a pressure cooker they would make all their own beans and they were vegetarians but they still ate eggs and dairy so it wasn't it wasn't like they were they were Hare Krishnas I knew I met up with a, a person who was a Hare Krishna this for a day I spent a day there learning about the temple in 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 Venice which is near Culver City Mar Vista area and if you're in Southern California uh, so I had some exposure to that, but I didn't really start realizing how much of an impact I was having on someone else, which to me, there is someone else there, right? I'm not denying that there is not someone else there. So that might be difficult being I'm in a, in a very rural area. So most of the people that live around me eat, they barbecue, they eat steaks, and they're, they're like my parents are. They're, they're like the way I was when I was growing up in the 60s when I lived with my parents. So they're, it's not, that's the normal way to be. So for somebody that just eats plants, it's a very not normal thing in the area I live in. So I recognize that and I am recognize I'm different in that regard. Maybe it's, um, but I don't, I don't point my finger at people. I don't go around judging people. I don't, I don't try to sh go out of my way to shame someone else or make them try to interfere with their um, diet or their where, how they want to live. It's mostly I'm this way for personal reasons. So there's no um, 
if if I was an activist and I went to like uh, PETA outreach and um, wildlife, uh, I volunteered my own time at an animal shelter or uh, uh, um, I went and did like community service in that regard for um, at the at the pound at the kennel right where the county takes unwanted animals. And people just drop off their animal. They have a pet. They get a pet. Oh, let's have a pet. They have a puppy or kitten. It's cute. And they like it. And then they, they say, I don't want it anymore. And they drop it off, you know, there. Or they, 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 they get put in their car and they drive to some neighborhood and drop it off there and leave, right? Leave their animal there. Or they're just like, they don't feed it anymore. And they let it outside and it wanders off. So there's a lot of problems with animals that are pets right so you gotta buy pet food for your cat or your dog so even a fish or a bird or a carnivore animal if you if you have a guard if you're a guardian to an animal that's a carnivore you're 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 still buying slaughterhouse meats you know and and you know so there's a problem with that there's a problem with also geographical location of somebody that's living in a very remote northern um far away from the sea they live in a very northern area where there is only like seals right and, and walruses and maybe there's like um penguins and you know uh, uh, seabirds and a lot of fish right so they have to subsist in there wherever they are geographically on that kind of diet or there's other people that were just they were they live in areas where that's what their dad and their mom did. And they make their living by that, raising the animals, breeding the animals, culling the animals. Um, and they, their family after gen many generations of their family has lived in there and they've done that kind of, um, um, they've taken care of livestock for a living. So your parents, your grandparents, all your aunts and uncles do like, take care of cows or raise cows and do that and make cow, you know, so I'm, you know, I, I understand that I, you know, it's for me, I had read Upton Sinclair's The Jungle. That was back in the seventies. I found at the local, at the, at the library, at the school I was looking at. So the, and the, the impact of the environment was more in the seventies. That was why you were a vegetarian, right? Cause it was better for the environment. Um, and then, I, I went to a meeting at a college. I think if you're going to do any kind of outreach, maybe co colleges or community colleges or go to a town where there's a, uni where there's a university at the town and people are more like open-minded about things. Maybe if you just, if you went on a street corner in like downtown or a very crowded area and you were trying to, you were trying to, uh, you had signs about, um, you know, animal cruelty in that. And, and then you're somebody that's like, sees a, a PETA, uh, somebody posted a PETA, a short film on, on a, a social media website. And you see this like animal being tortured. And they're trying to get you to donate money and you're showing like a dogs in cages and they're going to be used for meat. And they're showing like um, some horrific, diabolical, horrifying thing that's happening to an animal. Somebody's cruel and they're really being vicious and thoughtless and hurting an animal, deliberately hurting, hurting, hurting an animal to kill it, right? And you get like really emotional and it freaks you out and you, you like can't sleep at night because you think about that. And it's supposed to, they're supposed to be able to get you to donate money to them. Right. So. Um, so I seen that. Right. I seen a lot of. And, and, and in the beginning, I seen that and it made me more it made me more. OK, I want to be vegan more. Right. When I seen the more I see that, the more I want to be vegan and not use an animal for for a clothing, not use any animals for, um, or honey, not using any animal products, not trying to avoid wearing leather if I have to wear gloves, right, or whatever, boots, you know, so, um, and not, and, and, and avoiding anything at the grocery store, you know, and then you have other issues, like if you have a pet, right, so you have to buy dog food or cat food, so that's another thing, if you, if you use medicine at all, <clears throat> 
though, if you take prescription medicine or you've used, you've had dental work done or you've had any kind of medical procedure, then that those devices were tested on people or on animals before they were used on people. So you're using that, you're benefiting from some animal that had to be locked up and they, they, they use a medication on that. And they did studies with the ant, with a live animal with the medications or even like a, like makeup or, um, or, or harvesting the harvesting the fur, or the feathers off the animal. So anything like that was, that's part of the vegan thing. The vegan thing wasn't just, isn't just really, it seems like people misunderstand that it's, they think it's about being healthy, right? Having a good, healthy diet and, and, and feeling good physically, being trim and having a good digestive system and having a clear complexion, being, having good musculature, good build and, and being um, clear minded and being well, having the proper nutrient balance in your body, the right minimum, the right amount of minerals, the right amount of vitamins, the right amount of water and the proper nutrient balance in, in your diet. And then enjoying your food. So when you eat your food, you just have a really good eating experience. All your taste buds, mm, 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 mm. you're preparing really good meals, right? That are plant-based, right? That are tasty, that are, you have a variety of things and you're not, you go, you've gone to the doctor and you've had your blood drawn, you know, after being, after years of being vegan, you've gone to the doctor and you've drawn, you, you specifically say to the technician or to the, to your doctor, can you check my, my blood levels for any deficiencies because I'm vegan? I don't, I only eat plants and they will, they will run the blood test and they'll look for certain um, deficiencies you might have in your diet. So I, I, I've done that and I've always, it's always been normal. The only, the only, the only medical problems I had is with my teeth um, and, and hair loss. Okay. And then I get like, aging spots too because i spent a lot of time in the sun when i was a kid and i got i got sunburnt a lot so i have aging spots and they but other than that i my health has been pretty good i'm 62 years old and i started really a commitment to myself to in all i made a commitment that i would be um vegan mostly in 2011 um so I don't know if any of you ever tried these. These are called Brazil nuts. Um, and you know, interestingly about these these kinds of nuts is they're um, they're going away. So when you're if you're watching me, in <laughs> and these aren't available at your stores, right? Or you can't find them anywhere because there's no more left, right? Because they cut down all the trees, right, in the rainforest, so they can't get these anymore. Because they have to come from really old trees that have been growing a long time. Um, so over time, you might see, you might go to the grocery store and you'll see less of a variety of things available on your plate. That's because of climate change, of course. So it might be that that's what's going to suck, right? For the people in the future, they're going to get here and they're going to be, they're, you know, they're, they're going to grow up and there's like going to be like, you know, um, it's going to be like Soylent Green, right? Where they hit a little jar of, of strawberry jam and then they paid like a couple hundred dollars for a little jar of strawberry jam and it was like a big deal. Because the only food that people were eating was the Soylent, you know, Soylent Red, Soylent Green, Soylent. And I hate, I hated that movie. The movie, the Soylent Green movie, it, it was a good movie, right? The good story and everything. But I hated what happened to people in the future. It was like, oh, my God, it would suck to live in a world like what was happening in Soylent Green. You know, I thought, oh, my gosh. Um, so anyhow, I'm a vegan person. I think animals have consciousness. I wouldn't want to harm any, any little critters, right? I don't want, I don't want to live my life and be a part of hurting any, any little critters, right? It's least amount of harm I can make possible happen in the world. How I, in my diet wise, that's just, that seems like a reasonable thing to do for, you know, so anyhow, that's why I make this channel. And then I, I it's on, 
so it's on YouTube Red now. So I have this channel and I subscribe to anything having to do with veganism or or animal rights or plant-based dieting or any kind of any nutritional advice for ve vegetarian veganism is this I subscribe to people on this channel that are that that only post videos in that in that genre, right? So but I paid. I'm gotten I get tired of going to this channel and then I'd see all these commercials, right? I have to go skip through the commercials and the ads and there were dumb ads too. Those ads that were like cashmere sweaters or, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't. So, so I said, okay, I'll just, I'll just pay, right? I'll pay the extra money so I don't see the ads and I can just watch these, these, ch this channel and I'm subscribed to vegans that are for like bodybuilder vegans and vegans that are like nutritional expert vegans and vegans that are like, they're that way for their spiritual, for spiritual life. They're vegans for, um, and they are actively involved in animal rights. So they go out on the street, they'll go out on the street, set up a table and put a sign out and ask people questions, have a conversation, have conversations with people, try to convince them that they maybe try a plant-based diet for a while, or, you know, try to encourage people for, to get away from eating animal products or using animals. So that's all I have to say. I had, uh, uh, if, if, if in the future, I don't know, I might not make any videos on this channel because I'm, I'm a very opinionated person. A lot of people wouldn't like that, but I've, I've noticed that since someone passed away that was close to me and now I'm, I have to live without that person in my life anymore, that, that finding other people that are, that are kindred spirits that are the same, like that, that believe the same way I do with food, right? Are very, very, very few and far between in the world. I'm not where I live. I don't, I don't meet other people that are, that, that are, uh, that are vegan because they don't, because they don't like that animals suffer. Um, so I'll leave it at that. Leave a leave a comment if you want. You know, take the poll. I don't know if you're if you're interested in taking a poll. Um, and you, I may make other videos in the future. You know, depending upon my mood. <laughs> Fair enough.